So a lot of you guys know I've been trying to get into FPV lately, and coincidentally, Airhog sent me their new DR1 FPV drone. It's incredibly easy to use, it's really intuitive, and I just, I just sort of just disproved that point. This thing is a blast to fly. The, the camera's a little low quality. As far as just ripping around the house pure fun, this thing is awesome. Take a look. Now the AirHog system doesn't actually come with an FPV uh, video receiver. So you actually connect to your race quad uh, through your phone and then the video feed is transmitted through Wi-Fi. Put your phone in this apparatus and then strap it on and now you've got now you've got a Wi-Fi feed to your goggles. Now if you're thinking that's probably really heavy you would be correct. So actually what I do because of that is I enjoy actually flying not with this, but more so just with the phone or my iPad just propped up and, and looking that way. Oh. As an experiment, I want to see how easy the air hog is to fly with someone with zero drone experience. Look who decided to shoot. Ooh. Wow. All right, go goggles. Go goggles? You got this. Like I don't game. have this. Hey, he's flying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we started off with All right, here we go. Let's do it again. I want to watch through the goggles. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's it. I'm glad I haven't let you fly my Mavic yet. Yeah, you, you tried. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Go. <laughs> How do you flip? Hold this right here till okay. it beeps, and then the next direction you hit, it'll flip. Hey. Ooh! That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. So if you see here on the controller, you got mode one and two. Flying indoors, mode one is perfect. The controls are nice and easy. You can still go pretty quick, but when you really want to have some fun, go outside, flip to mode two.
Wi-Fi for your video feed is not ideal. There is a slight delay and it's just enough that you see what you're going to run into after it's already happened. Flight time is about six to eight minutes depending on sort of your style and how aggressive you fly. And then charge time is between 50 and 60 minutes, which is not great, particularly since there's no way to swap out batteries. So there you have it. The Airhog DR1 FPV race drone. I, I, I like it. Obviously there's a link below. Check it out. Happy flying and I'll catch you guys in the next one.